to our next presentation, who is by, which is by Kaz Shimura, talking to their tuna scope, an AI solution for tuna quality inspection. Hi, I'm Kaz Shimura. I'm creative director of the Future Creative Center at Dentsu. And today, I'd like to share my most recent case called TunaScope. It's an AI system with the skills of a tuna expert transferred to it. Please watch the following video. Tuna, one of the most precious marine resources. As the population continues to age in Tokyo, the number of artisans that examine tuna quality has dwindled to half from its prime. This valuable skill might disappear in the near future. We challenged ourselves to create something that would ensure the sustainable supply of high quality tuna. Introducing TunaScope, an AI successor to Japan's long legacy of tuna inspection. The key was in the fish's tail. In markets in Japan, only a handful of artisans had been responsible for the inspection of tuna quality. Everything you need to know about the fish is said to be contained in this vital part. But this skill takes artisans at least 10 years to attain. We have taken a vast number of photos of crosscuts of tuna tails. Intuitive knowledge, once only attained through years of experience, was recreated through deep learning. TunaScope, an AI with an accuracy rate of over 90% compared to a veteran artisan, was created. We have expanded the use of this AI from Japan to the world. Japan's skillful inspection has become available everywhere. Furthermore, the project has been adopted as a promotion program supported by the government of Japan. Our goal is to collect data from tuna markets across the world using TunaScope and create a fair global standard of tuna quality. TunaScope. You might think what does an agency have to do with tuna? It's not that I wanted to run a tuna business or even an AI business. Ever since I was a kid, I loved tuna. This is a picture I painted when I was small. My parents showed it me recently, and I didn't remember painting it, but I discovered I was a much better artist than now, when I was a kid. So, I love tuna. Around three years ago, I bought some tuna at the local supermarket, but it wasn't as good as I expected. Tuna is a luxury, and in Japan, we like to eat it on special days. It's a big disappointment if the tuna you buy is not good but you can't tell until you eat it. Then I happened to see my own TV, the news regarding the historical Tsukiji fish market being moved to a new area in Tokyo. During the news, I saw tuna experts examine the quality of a tuna fish with its tail. They were screening good tuna for high-end sushi restaurants. That was a moment of inspiration for me. I thought if I could transfer these expert skills to an AI and apply it to all tuna. This is how we launched the AI that will become the keeper of Japan's long legacy of tuna screening. We named it TunaScope. In addition to a major tuna factories in Yaizu and Misaki in Japan, TunaScope is now available at the factory in Darling, China. Only the tuna judged at the highest quality by TunaScope is branded AI Tuna. We started providing AI Tuna in restaurants in New York, Singapore, and Tokyo. We also provide a certification for restaurants serving AI Tuna. TunaScope became a government support program of the fishery agency. At the beginning of this year, Japan's largest sushi restaurant chain called Kurazushi decided to employ TunaScope. This was a big opportunity for TunaScope. However, due to the outbreak of COVID-19, tuna purchase operation became very difficult. The tuna experts could not travel. Kurazushi, who buys 70% of their fish from overseas, was in trouble. We discussed this with the client and decided to send to AI overseas. 
We conducted the world's first tuna AI remote buying. Tuna scope judged the quality on behalf of humans. On July 7th, the vice president of Kurazushi announced that Tunescope was introduced to the company. The tuna selected by Tunescope was served at Kurazushi restaurants nationwide. I tried it myself and it was very delicious. Despite the effect of COVID-19, AI tuna sold three times more than non-branded tuna and became a big hit. It will continue to be served at Kurazushi restaurants throughout this year. Through this project, we found that taste certification is strongly embraced by customers. We felt that, together with sustainability certification, a common standard for certifying great taste can add even more value to tuna. We were covered by more than 1500 media, beginning with interview by Reuters, and still receive inquiries daily from all over the world. As our project evolved, we discovered another potential for Tunescope. A social issue. We found that tuna scope could become a solution for a resource problem. Overfishing of tuna has become a worldwide problem. One of the reasons is because the global tuna trade is based on weight or quantity. It's better for your business if you catch more tuna, regardless of the quality. We wanted to change the tuna business from quantity based to quality based. Our next goal is to create a fair and clear global standard of quality by spreading the word Tunascope. Eventually, it will become more profitable to catch better quality tuna than more tuna. This is our plan for this year. First, we want to introduce Tunascope at fish processing plants around the world. We also want to introduce Tunascope certified tuna in many countries. If you are interested, please contact us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kaz. That, that was an amazing video. And uh, also, in, in the time that we're looking to promote value, you're, you're saying that you mentioned that quantity based to quality based is, I think, very resonated with me for our whole life. I, not necessarily just tuna, but um, very impressed by your drawing of the tuna and very impressed by the tool that you've produced and the ability for people to be engaged in the story and see greater value in quality rather than quantity is a fantastic is a fantastic business to be in right throughout. So I would just love you to share with us a little bit. Um, you mentioned that this is really starting to, to work for you now. How do you see this potentially rolling out? Will it work for start working for other fishes? Does it have to be the tail section? How, what's your vision for promoting the idea of quality fish rather than quantity fish? in the next five to 10 years? Oh, uh, so, uh, uh, sorry, my English is not good. So uh, just please. Oh uh, yeah, just really to, what's your what's your best wish for this progression? What's ah, the best oh, okay, okay, okay. I am um, so using a uh, genus scope. I hope um, all uh, the people all over the world uh, uh, can eat better quality tuna every time. Um, as you watched, um, my experience uh, is uh, I three years ago, I uh, disappointed when I uh, ate, uh, ate uh, bad quality tuna. This is not um, product I we want to eat uh, always um, better quality tuna. So I make um, people uh, can eat always stable better quality tuna. This is my vision and my goal. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kaz. Um, Matt, have you got any suggestions or any ideas to share? Yes, yeah. Um, I'm interested in, it's a fantastic project, Kaz. I really enjoy watching your video. 
I watch it many times actually. <laughs> I'm interested in uh, uh, how the management of the lower quality tuna has changed since that. Out. Is there better management of the lower quality tuna? And do you think there's less wastage, less, less wastage of tuna using that app? Um, and the way uh, to eat the tuna is, um, um, uh, there are a lot of ways to eat tuna. For example, sashimi, Sashimi, uh, Japanese people like uh, sashimi. Sashimi is, um, you have to be uh, very fresh and need high quality. But uh, when I, when we eat uh, tuna steak, and uh, we don't need to uh, high quality tuna. Yeah, because when uh, it, uh, become steak, <laughs> the freshness is not important. So uh, I I believe um, the best way uh, to uh, how to use how to cook tuna is uh, different depend on quality. So uh, the low quality tuna is waste is uh, not my uh, salt. Um, low quality tuna uh, will uh, be used for tuna steak. High quality tuna uh, have to be used for sashimi. This is very productive way of eating tuna for all people. <laughs> uh, as you said, Cass, you know, if people would like to earn a good income, they would like to produce sashimi grade tuna. And more and more people in the world are looking to enjoy really high quality products. So your application helps people to enjoy the higher quality and it helps the fishery earn more money from the higher quality. So thank you very much for sharing your story with us today. We're gonna move